trust me. You gotta trust him. Look at those eyes. You call that cute? <gasps> and with the paws, am I doing it? Hi everyone, welcome back to the Erring Austin YouTube channel. My name's Austin, and today we're gonna be talking about Puss in Boots, The Last Wish. This will be a non-spoiler movie review, so don't worry if you guys have not seen the movie. But there is one thing that I would absolutely love to talk about near the end of this review. It does have to deal with a spoiler, but if you guys don't wanna watch that, no big deal. So the plot of the movie, Puss is basically down to his last life. He has died eight times, cats only have nine lives, but really this whole thing has got him in shambles. He's breaking down, he wants to retire, he wants to quit. And so Puss in Boots goes on this crazy adventure with some unlikely compadres and each of them learn their own valuable lesson that I think kids can actually take away from this movie, which is something that I really appreciate. They're not handing them the film. They're actually saying, hey, this is what the characters are going through. We expect you to kind of get it. I think it's really well written in that regard. Of course, there's a few characters. It's a children's animated film that don't really have the most fleshed out of plots. In fact, the main villain played by uh, John Mulaney, I think his name's Jack Horner. Uh, he's uh, he's kind of a gag. I understand why kids can gravitate towards his character. It's almost memeable in a sense on how crazy and chaotic this character is. And his motivations are just to rule the world. So not really the most compelling villain. Antonio Banderas, I think he absolutely killed it as Puss in Boots. He added the suave. When did Puss in Boots make his first appearance? Shrek 2, mid 2000s, 2005? Let's look this up. I wanna see if I'm right. 2004, Shrek 2 came out in 2004. So close. And just like every other animated movie out there these days, there is a side character in this film, much like that of Olaf and Frozen, who kind of comes off as annoying, but by the end of the movie, he actually provides a lot of heart. However, the character actually has some adult humor to him that I think the parents will enjoy, but it's not so adult that the kids wouldn't get it. It's kind of, it's very middle ground humor. Nothing too bad, but also something that I wouldn't really expect out of an animated children's movie. Now let's go ahead and get into the technical details of this movie. One thing that I absolutely appreciated, well, Two things I absolutely appreciated were the art style of the film. I thought it was like a mixture of arcane with the really nice painted backdrops and then that of Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse where they animated on twos. However, those scenes were mostly used for the action set pieces. So the whole film actually isn't like that. So a majority of the film is actually animated on ones. So technically you see it at a certain frame rate and then during the action scenes, it flips right over. Avatar, uh, The Way of Water, they shot at 48 in some situations on that film. It was noticeable for someone like me. And with Puss in Boots, The Last Wish, yeah, it was noticeable. The art style that I really, really adore, the hand-painted scenes, just like the animation, it was really only used during the big action scenes. That jump between normal dream work art style to this other art style, it took me out of the scene. And at some points I was like, hang on, wait, hang on, can we can we back up? I, I don't know what just happened there. Um, I'm still trying to figure out visually where I'm at. This movie was a Frankenstein of a project and I really wish that the filmmakers just stuck with one animation style, one art style, and I think the film overall would have had a more unique presence. Now back to that spoiler I wanted to discuss earlier. I'll give you a few seconds if you don't wanna watch. Are they gone? Okay, uh, so they teased the new Shrek movie in this. I got so hyped seeing that, I didn't know that was gonna happen. Now I don't really know when Shrek 5 comes out, but the fact that I actually really enjoyed Shrek 4, unlike most others, I'm actually really happy. I'm excited for Shrek 5. I wanna see it. I've heard rumors that they're doing a whole new art style for it. I hope that they don't interchange art styles and animation styles like they did with Puss in Boots and The Last Wish. Well, with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching my review of Puss in Boots, The Last Wish. If you guys wanna see more content, I uh, highly recommend subscribing. And if you guys like the video, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. And with all the YouTube jargon out of the way, my name's Austin, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.